So this is a 598 cubic inch engine based on a Chevy design. And uh, I used to run this in a, a street car, but uh, ended up putting this engine also into a drag car. And uh, the best that car ever went for me, eighth mile, was uh, like a 517 or 516 at 132 miles an hour. So if you can kind of picture going zero to 132 miles an hour in 5.1 seconds, that kind of gives you an idea what that might feel like. But anyways, you know, I'm running a polymer gear on that distributor and uh, it's a steel billet camshaft. And so there's some uh, rhyme and reason to that a whole uh, idea. And I'm gonna share that a bit with you. So looking at the back of the engine, I'm just gonna show you a, a switch here that I had rigged into the car when I was using it. So a couple of oil pressure ports here, one is there and one is here. And this one I had rigged into a, a low oil pressure switch. And uh, what I did is I used this to shut the fuel pump off if the oil pressure would ever drop. And uh, that's especially handy if the, if the vehicle is uh, suddenly on its side or on its roof and maybe the driver can't get out on time. And then uh, last thing you want is that uh, fuel pump to keep pumping. So that's the uh, idea behind this here. So I've got to pull this bolt out and then I can take that clamp out and then I'm going to slide the distributor out and we're going to have a look at the gear. So this is an old steel billet camshaft from a big block Chevy and I'm just going to show you the distributor gear on it. You can see how the teeth, they get narrower here in the middle. So this cam has got some wear on it in this area but I've seen worse and uh, this is usually what happens when you put the uh, stock gear on the distributor and you mesh that together with this one here on the cam if the cam is a steel billet like this one so solutions are to run a bronze gear and uh, then you won't wear out the uh, the teeth here on the cam but the thing is the bronze is soft and then the bronze wears out so uh, another option is to use that polymer gear like what I've got in the uh, 598 there. So we're going to have a look at that today and see how it's holding out. Another option, and I actually prefer that one the best, is to use a two-piece camshaft. And that's where this part is steel billet, but then from here onwards it becomes like a regular cam, like a cast iron camshaft. And then so this is a normal gear and then it works very well together with the stock gear on the distributor. And uh, the only drawback to that type of a camshaft is there's not as many grind options available, usually. So, anyways, let's uh, pop that distributor out and see how that gear has been holding out. So, this is a dark big M block, tall deck, and it's got uh, AFR heads on it, the 357, those are the uh, all CNC machine units and uh, so I can pull this distributor out and we're going to have a look at this thing and uh, one of the nice features about this distributor is this uh, adjustable collar on it and uh, with that I can slide this collar up and down to find just the right depth for this distributor to slide into the engine and that affects how this gear is going to contact the uh, teeth on the uh, cam well guys, if you ask me, that gear looks pretty much brand new. And uh, like I say, my first choice really is a two-piece cam. But uh, this uh, evidently works pretty good. And this thing is, was uh, spinning one of those uh, Moroso billet oil pumps. So that's a pretty big load. Some guys might tell you don't run a big oil pump on these kind of gears. Because you could tear some teeth off. But, you know, uh, it's uh, worked pretty good for me. So, anyways guys... That uh, is a nice look at that uh, polymer gear. 